Hey there, it's me again, Shekun Johnson, to give you a discourse on democracy, prayer, and governance. Now, the majority of people in Africa are very, very religious. They go to churches, they go to mosques, they go to their traditional religions, and uh, almost everybody is religious. And we have seen in the recent past that uh, many people have got it wrong, believing that prayer will change bad leaders and leadership. I'm here to tell you that if we are operating democracy, there is a, a place for prayer and there is a place for action. Uh, there are certain things you need to do to get good leaders who will give you good leadership leading onto good governance. If you miss the position of uh, good leadership and uh, good governance, thinking prayer will replace it, you have made a mistake. What is democracy? The usual de definition is uh, government of the people, by the people, for the people. And uh, if you want the people to be in charge, then they must be able to elect the good leaders they think can run it. And you cannot be praying that bad leaders should go or should die when the democracy is about voting the good and right people in place. Now, for you to fast every day and pray every day for good leadership, for good leaders, without you taking part in election, collecting your PVC, going to vote, making sure your vote can't, you will never get good leaders, you will never get good leadership. Therefore, you will have bad governance. But if you can take the step and say, God, give me wisdom to have an understanding of who to vote and what will they do? What is their manifesto saying? Scrutinizing their manifesto and calling on them to do the right thing, even after you have elected them. But for you to exchange Prayer for Caesar, it will not work. I have in the studio with me a good friend of mine in Milan. Uh, his name is Mark Godwin. Mark, you are welcome to the program. Dr. Shagun, I'm so excited you're giving this topic today because we need to reach out to the Christian Dom. Dr. Shagun, um, the Christian Dom is getting it wrong with the mentality we have. Um, through the years, we actually caused this, this very uh, sad situation in, in Africa, in Nigeria mainly, where mm. Christians sat back and thought the prayer would just automatically put one good leader or the prayer will automatically bring good governance. We, we will do the roads on themselves. We bring electricity without putting oh, people who oh, can we, do electricity there. We will go for all night prayers, pray, pray till the morning, we will have our seven days fast. Then on the day of election, we will lock ourselves inside and say, ah, no, no, that, that thing is evil. Don't go there. And they will say they make the electoral system and the electoral actions evil. They call it Satan, Babylon, and they give all terminologies. And they have made participating in democracy, participating in election, in voting, in uh, protest, they have made it demonic. If you yes. do that one, you are doing the wrong thing. Let us yes. pray that good leaders will be there. Praying, yeah. praying is good to give you a sound mind to be able to look at their manifestos and determine which one is right, which one is wrong. It's, wrong. it's not about just... Uh, praying 7, 21 days fasting for Nigeria, 23 days thereafter, immediately after that, 70 days and praying without telling them what to look out for, who is the, who is bringing electricity, who is bringing good roads, who is bringing good airports. Why do we, why do we get ourselves into such a corner? Yes, um, I think we, we uh, misinterpreted the Bible. Um, yeah, what does yes. the Bible say? Yeah, the, the Bible says a lot. The Bible says we, we Christians are the salt of the earth. Mm. Say, so how can a food be seasoned without salt? Mm. Now, doctor, 
um, we, we, we want to be the salt without getting into the sput pot of soup. The like Nigerians are saying the pot of soup is boiling, but yet that is where the salt must go. That's correct, sir. Do you know that it is only a small salt that will be needed to affect a whole pot? pot. So that if we can get a sizable number of believers in the pot of uh, leadership, they leadership. will be telling them what is good, what is not good. And they will the Bible also good. says we are the light of the world. Come on now. You can't have a light and hide it under... Uh, the the bushel. That's the what bush it says. So now the Christians have all this knowledge, have all this understanding of God of existence, and they are hiding and in the hiding. Twenty-one days of fasting. And hiding, prayer. doctor. Mm. We are hiding, and we say that electoral thing is evil, is Satan. Don't go there. And we are praying for uh, God to. And, and some of them think probably an angel will come and give that good governance. You see, many people do not understand that uh, when you want to get the roads done, you need to get engineers and the contract and people to do it. You continue to pray that the roads will be done without telling your local government chairman or state governor or the federal government to say, go and do this road. That is what we all are saying. They don't know that prayer will strengthen you to be bold in front of leaders. Yes. Prayer will strengthen you to speak the truth to power, just like it happened to Nathan and David. Nathan was not praying for David. He went to confront David. David. We need Christians like Prophet Nathan that will confront the government and tell them the truth. These are the yearnings and aspirations of the people. If we have electricity in the country, it will be good. What are the issues of electricity? They only tell us it's not generation, but distribution. And da, 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 da. Look, can someone fix it? Who can fix it? Let us get the person who can fix it. And all of this, let's fast and pray. 21 days, 48 days. Oh, my God. It's, it's not that prayer is bad. Uh, uh, no, prayer is no, not bad. No, but prayer, prayer. Mm. Yes, prayer. In fact, uh, the, the, the Christians have done a lot of that and it's helping. Mm. It's really working in Nigeria, in Africa. Mm. But it's time now for us to really get into the action to back up the prayers with our actions. Yes, back faith without works is dead. dead. Exactly. What is the works? that we want in Nigeria, the works that the leaders will do. Who are the leaders that we want to put there? Good leaders, effective leaders. And this is what we are saying. And, uh, and do you know God recognizes that there are leaders there? Jesus yes. said to those people who are accosting him, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and give unto God what is God. Give unto Caesar the necessary instruction to get electricity to Nigeria, to get potable water to Nigeria, to get infrastructures to Nigeria. That is what belongs to Caesar. And go to God and say, strengthen all those leaders. Let them have wisdom, understand it. But you need to know what to give who. And on that note, Mark in Milan, I just have to thank you very much. You are nice. Very good and thank you for the analogy of the salt. You cannot put salt next to the soup. And believing that the soup will have a, a good taste. No, this the salt must jump into this soup. Uh, until next time, when we bring you another uh, discussion on democracy, uh, is Michelle Gun Johnson uh, saying, God bless you all and God bless God Nigeria. Bless God bless Nigeria.